The, the handshake interrupt, is, and that's actually what it's called, is based on a concept known as pattern interruption. It's based on the idea that everything that human beings do is a program. It has a sequence. If we interrupt the sequence, the nervous system has to reboot. If we interrupt the sequence, the nervous system doesn't know what to do. It goes into confusion. The handshake is, because it's been, it's such a part of most cultures, is, is literally, if I, if I put my hand out, see what she does? Look, you look at your hand, look at your hand. That's right. As you look at your hand, notice the shifting colors. Notice how it begins to move in and out of focus. And I'm not going to ask that hand to float down on its own any faster than you can go deeper and deeper into a wonderful state of trance. That's right. Deeper and deeper with every breath, every beat of your heart. One, two, three, eye, eye open, wide awake. Notice how good you feel. Now, shake. Look at your hands. That's right. All the way down, deeper and deeper and deeper still. One, two, three, eyes open, wide awake. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'll close your eyes, deeper and deeper, all the way down. <laughs> deeper and deeper. Even as she laughs, she's going deeper and deeper. It just feels better and better, right? One, two, three, eyes open, wide awake. <laughs> now, why did I just do that? Because when you extend your hand, Look at him, sleep, look at your hand, all the way down, deeper and deeper. <laughs> he can just stay there. <laughs> Another thing you can do is as he goes to shake his hand, you can just kind of poke it here and look at your hand. Look at the shifting colors in your hand as that close your eyes all the way down. Deeper. And deeper. And deeper still all the way. That's right. Everybody on the, uh, in a westernized culture, when you stick their hand out, they're going to stick their hand out. One, two, three, eyes open. The whole process starts from the reach to the touch. If, as I'm going here, this comes out of nowhere, I interrupt that pattern. And I'm not going to ask Patrick for that hand to float down any more than you can go deeper and deeper, and deeper, into a wonderful state of trance, all the way down. Deeper, and deeper, and deeper still. Now if you look at his eyes, you can see the fribulations, which is just little eyelid movements and things like that. Many different ways to do the handshake interrupt. It's a little bit more challenging in that there's a timing element, is that as he shakes the hand, look at your hand, as you look at your hand, going deeper, and deeper. And deeper still, all the way down. That's right. Deeper and deeper. So you can interrupt the process of the handshake and put them even deeper. And you just gently, it's just like any other kind of a pattern interrupt or any kind of confusion technique. The brain doesn't know what to do, so it either has to start from the beginning or follow the instruction that you give it. Then you just go. Thank you, Bill. Come on out. <laughs> so Kenrick Cleveland, many times, um, if there was, in fact, when he was in his evil days, he would go um, as as a person, as a client was leaving the office or something like that. He would go. Everything's going to be fine. Have a great day. <laughs> and, down they would go, happy as a clam. Um, lots of ways that you can inject that, but the, the, the handshake in there, and what I want you to do now is, is think of the handshake as an example of a hypnotic operator that is socially programmed into us. You go to anybody in this room, you extend the hand, they're going to automatically, autom it takes a great deal of willpower to not put your hand back out there. The whole idea is as you look at your hand, you shake, you come here, see? And there it is. There's the, and look at her. Right? And she's still, and you point at the hand, and you look at the hand, and you say, notice the shifting colors, notice the changing focus. And now what you, can't, what you don't feel or what you don't see is as I'm doing this, is I'm slowly, that's right, 
I'm not going to ask that hand to float down any more than you can go even deeper and deeper. Now, Fran, as you go deeper and deeper into trance and your unconscious mind begins to pay more and more attention, that's right. I'm not sure which of your hands is going to begin to float up with honest, unconscious movements. Maybe it'll be your right hand floating up higher and higher, or your left hand floating up. I'm not going to ask that hand to float up any faster. Then you can go deeper and deeper in the trance. Maybe it starts with a thumb. That's right. Letting one of those hands just begin to float. That's right. Maybe it's this hand. Or maybe it's this hand. Maybe it begins with a thumb movement, begins to float up higher and higher and higher still. Higher and higher with every breath. Every beat of your heart it just floats up higher. Higher, guided by honest, unconscious movements. Higher and higher. That's right. Noticing how good you feel. That's right. Lifting, jerking, rising. Moving up all the way up. Higher and higher still. Now, Fran, as you continue to let that hand float higher and higher, I have a special gift for you, and I'm only going to ask that hand to rise only at the rate and speed that you really want it. Only at the rate and speed that you know it's going to be good. Only at the rate and speed. That's right. Oh, she really wants that now, doesn't she? That's called motivation. Now, Fran, because you've been such a good subject, and we've played with hypnosis in all the right ways, lifting, jerking, rising, stronger and stronger, from this moment on, every time. Actually, there was a time in your life when you felt the most wonderful, naughty pleasure ever. That's right. Now, I'm not going to ask you what it was, or where it was, or who it was with. But it was fun. That's right. And so, because it's in the privacy of your own mind and body, you can make it as big and bright and juicy as you want to make it. I want you to, you don't have to point to it, but I want you to notice that there's a place in your body where that feeling starts. And there's a color connected to that feeling. And I want you to notice that, that color is spinning in a certain direction. I want you to notice what happens when that color doubles in speed, doubles in force. That's right, doubles in magnitude, size, and strength. And mm, maybe you notice feelings getting stronger. I don't know. That's right. Now here's the best part. From this moment forward, every time you engage in a hypnotic process, whether as the subject or as the hypnotist, that rush of pleasure is going to come flooding into your mind and body each and every time you complete a process, whoosh, getting stronger and stronger, bigger and bigger, deeper and deeper. And what will happen is as that pleasure, as that joy, as that mm, wonderful sensations get stronger and stronger, your body will start to secrete a very special substance known as oxytocin. And when oxytocin hits your system from that rush of pleasure, that's right, your body becomes very, very teachable. It begins to learn, really learn faster and faster and faster. New neurological connections, new associations, new ways of perceiving and believing. Old ways of behaving, evolving and erasing, dissolving, becoming something better, something more useful. And that's going to happen for you each and every time you hypnotize somebody, each and every time you get hypnotized, rush of pleasure, more learning, better skills, life just gets better and better and better. And I'm not going to ask you to let that hand begin to drift down to your lap, only at the rate and speed that every part of your body and mind accepts, implements, and puts those new suggestions and ideas and processes into permanent operation. Only at the rate and speed that every night while you sleep and while you dream, your brain makes all those processes a thousand times stronger, or maybe even just doubling and tripling the size, strength, and intensity of those feelings with every breath, with every beat of your heart. Just let that hand float down, only at the rate and speed that every level of your body and mind is energized, synergized, harmonized.
harmonized, maximized in the direction of your highest joys and pleasures and becoming more powerful, more confident, more effective, more filled with self-confidence and self-esteem at every level of your body and mind, your unconscious mind in full agreement, ready, eager, and willing to implement all of these new learnings at the rate and speed that's most natural, most efficient for you. When your hand touches that lap, you'll emerge from this state, completely transformed at every level of your body and mind, eyes open, head clear, mind clear, thinking and acting. That's right, with calm self-assurance. <laughs> Noticing how good you feel. Thank you. You're very welcome. Careful, good night. All righty. So the handshake interrupt is, is, is a fun, it's good for parties. It takes a little bit of confidence, because you've got to go, well, hey, how you doing? Look at your hand. Notice how good that begins to move. Notice the shifting and turning. Close the eyes all the way down, deeper and deeper and deeper still. That's right. Now, Chris, everything you just heard me say to Fran, it's a hundred times truer for you now. Now, in a moment, I'm not going to ask you to open your eyes and come back to the room only at the rate and speed that, well, you know you've got it, that your unconscious mind really wants and desires and going to put all those suggestions into operation, noticing how good you feel at every level of your body and mind. And she goes, yeah, that's it. Let those changes integrate, accelerate, rocketing through your mind and body and all. That's good. There you go. Woohoo! And just allow your eyes to open when you know you've got it. There you go. Woohoo! <laughs> There's another campy happer. <laughs> <laughs>